Hey everybody, Groggy D, how you doing today? Today I've got some unboxings for you. I've got three artillery shell kits. Um, one is a ball shell kit and two are canister shell kits. We'll start with a ball shell kit that I've done in the past. This is what I have left over here. Six of the 12 that came in my radical recoil shell kit from before. This radical recoil shell kit came in my brother's phantom jumbo assortment. Um, this was the featured shell kit. Uh, that is a, an assortment that kind of dates back a little bit, so I have noticed some slight differences between this kit and this kit. Nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing that you can say it's, makes it a different firework in any way. But, uh, you know, just uh, the way that the printing has changed, that's all. Stuff like that. Let's uh, take it apart a little bit and have a little look um, at the shells themselves close up to. All right, here's the my new kit opened. And you can kind of tell that uh, everything's pretty much the same except for the ball shells. We got uh, foil there. We got no foil here. Um, these shells are not numbered, but there are effects listed, but I cannot, uh, guarantee that the, sh the, uh, effects that are listed are going to match what the shell is. Um, they are uh, in order on a box here. I think it starts with one, no, that's seven, sorry. It starts with, uh, crackling blue sparkle with tail. These all uh, have comet tail, so I, we should see that on all, but maybe not. I didn't see any bees when I did the other one. That's interesting. Definitely no reports. That's probably a uh, time rain or something. Uh, red, white, and blue. And like I said, they all got the tail listed. Silver tail over there. These say they don't have tails. Interesting because I actually did a ring shell out of this kit from the new style, and it definitely had a tail. Um, I was surprised when this red ring showed up. Uh, I was not expecting a ring. This one says no tail too. Neither of these. But believe me, I believe they have comet tails. Look at the logo, okay? I think this box has changed. This is a 2004 copy. I think the newer, I think mine is probably in the 2010s. Um, they always use the uh, Wolfpack logo, but they don't, well, it finally says it right there, a Wolfpack product. I was gonna say, it doesn't say that anywhere else, especially on the shells, it doesn't, uh, the tubes, I mean, it doesn't really say anything about being a Wolfpack product, but okay. So that's why the wolves are on there. I like this shell kit, it's, uh, Got uh, slightly larger ball shells than uh, the smaller ones. Um, no whistling tails, but uh, the interesting effects are pretty cool. Other than that, just standards. They're good for little camera tests that I do while I'm lining things up. Um, but uh, I, I kind of want to do this whole kit right here as one of my demos. So... Keep an eye out for that. Maybe we'll get a whole demo since I got all of these extras. Those, I've got boom shakalakas, and I've got cancer shells I'm not too concerned about. 
We're gonna unbox two of those kits right now. <laughs> One of the problems making this video is I'm getting lost. I'm forgetting to mention things and stuff. So uh, just bear with me here. I just wanted to say, uh, of course, I use this tube. As you can tell, yeah, it's still in good shape. Not, not fall apart yet. I've only used it twice. This is a cardboard tube. All of them are cardboard tubes. That's what I don't like about this kit. You get two big cardboard tubes, which is great. They're lasting a good long time, but I'd uh, really prefer fiberglass. These are larger shells. But I have even an in more interesting fact about them shells, and uh, here's what they looked like probably back in the late 90s. Look at the Phantom logos, all different. And look at that Phantom logo. Different, but different also than the Phantom logo. Just by color, not by shape. Okay, so interesting to note there. You can see that the uh, warning label has moved from the center of the box to the corner in the old version. Moving on to a canister shell kit. I bought this Big 8 canister shell kit. The Elite Series by Sky King. Um, I thought they were a better deal than the kits that were 6 uh, shells and this one was even cheaper than those kits in some cases uh, right here actually got a price on it $94.99 so normally that would be $99.99 half price $50 so a few bucks savings and then you get four over here four over here instead of the usual six so that's pretty interesting Effects are going to be pretty much the same as uh, what you've seen in other kits. Some peony shape. A little bit of crackle. Not much. I don't see a ton of crackle in this kit. But these are just peonies. Just stars. So we'll take a look and see if we got the uh, names written on the shells. We'll see what the tube looks like. There's your four inch canister shells, your fiberglass 12 inch tube. I did not measure it. Don't quote me wrong. Um, the shells themselves have the effect listed. It also has a number up in the corner. You cannot see it on this side. So one, two, three, four, their packages in order they're listed in order up here. When you come to this side, be sure to flip the order around. <laughs> seven, eight, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, and eight, backwards order. But it's all good, all matched up. So these would be pretty good. My intentions for these are going to be revealed. Uh, afraid, I don't know, but uh, I'll definitely have demos of some of them. The last kit is going to be the six shell red, white, and blue canister shell kit by Phantom. Outer box does have pictures and listed effects. My plans for this kit are probably to be using them in my um, display that I'm gonna make, my hand fire display for the 4th of July. Um, the red, white, and blue is part of the theme that I'm looking for. So most or all of these shells are gonna be for that. Let's look at some of these effects again because we know that they're all red, white, and blue. Um, I've seen demos where they're, these are pretty, these have some of the least color variety you know uh since it's all red white and blue and they it gets a little repetitious that way that that's that's why i figured i can use them in the display and they won't really 
outshine anything else. But they'll be still be good and of the right theme. Red, white, and blue peony, silver glitter, red, white, and blue bouquet. Um, time rain. So I pretty much already know a lot about those anyway. We'll take a look at these uh, shelves real quick too. Maybe I can do it like this. Here we go. Um, did I open the box already? Looks so. So we get the red, white, and blue tube out. And look at that. Oh, this is a beautiful tube, I'll tell you what. It is 12 inches, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say, fiberglass. But look at that. Look at the, I don't even have to put a sticker on that. It's already patriotic. <laughs> um, okay, I have, I think I took one of these out and looked already. I believe, I don't know. I don't know if those are uh, the effects around there or not. We shall find out right away. Well, before I do that, I believe that could be why they put these here. <laughs> so we know what goes with what. I'll put it there. There's some instructions. But yeah, this, this uh, is like an inner box. That's kind of a lid. So it's like a box in a box. Um, but I will still take one out and let's see if it's on the shell too. And yes, there's a easy to read number on these. Way at the bottom, nothing else. Um, I, I'm not really too concerned because these are pretty much just gonna blend in. I'm not going to be uh, needing to explain what each one is. Well, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing today. Can't wait for the 4th of July so we can light them off. Or at least the 3rd. Bye-bye.